two, one, go! How do I describe this movie? A movie about the lighter side of being a Nazi? Uh, no, 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 that isn't it. A hilarious romp about a boy and his imaginary friend Adolf Hitler. Uh, nope. I haven't laughed this hard at seeing characters saying Heil Hitler since the last time I saw that Donald Duck cartoon? Well, even if none of these are an ideal way to describe this movie, all of them are true. The movie follows a young boy named Jojo, a child in World War II Nazi Germany who has jumped on the Nazi bandwagon and believes all of the propaganda. This complicates things when he finds out that his mother has been hiding a Jew girl in his house. Throughout the film, he has an imaginary friend, played by the director of the film, Taika Waititi, and wouldn't you know it, the imaginary friend just happens to be Adolf Hitler. Or rather, a child's interpretation of Hitler. And so he has to figure out what to do without getting himself or his mother killed. Now, as I said at the start, it's hard to describe this movie. I saw it with my fiance, but before we saw it, we were having dinner at a restaurant, and the waitress asked me, Oh, do you have any other plans for this evening? And I just blurted out, We're seeing a movie about the young boy who has Hitler as an imaginary friend. And it just really hit me at that moment how strange the whole concept of this movie is. But strange is where this movie lives, and it does it really well. I love movies that can ride the line of super silly in one moment, then outrageously dark the next. It handles the tone really well and is really unlike any other movie that I've ever seen. One quote that I've seen a reviewer use for this movie is, It shouldn't work, but it does. And honestly, I think that perfectly sums up this movie. I mean, we can go from Taika Waititi being really goofy and funny as an over-the-top Hitler, and then boom, you're walking by some corpses that have been strung up for helping Jews. I swear, if you cut this movie into two parts, half of it would be an upbeat, silly movie, and the other would be a dark, tense war flick. The acting all around is great. The movie even got me to laugh at Rebel Wilson, so that's an accomplishment. But for me, I think the standouts are Scarlett Johansson, who I think really disappears into the role of JoJo's mother. I really saw her in it, and she did a great job. Sam Rockwell, a former Nazi commander who is honestly one of the most laugh-out-loud moments in the film in one of its most tense scenes. JoJo's friend, played by an actor making his debut, Archie Yates, who, by gosh, he is one of the funniest and cutest characters in the movie. Every single line he has is gold. And then, of course, we got Taika Waititi as Hitler and Roman Griffin Davis as Jojo. And both of these actors, I think, are so good that they could both be considered for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. Because I'm fully on board with Jojo in his journey as a young boy who believes everything that his country is telling him. There's this scene with just him and his friend camping out in the woods and talking about how they're going to kill Jews. And that sounds really dark, but really, it's just kids, you know? It's just the same as us when we grew up saying, oh, I'm going to capture Bigfoot. To them, it, they don't understand the situation. And as the movie goes on, he slowly is uncovering what the Nazis are really all about. And Taika Waititi is the most likable Hitler I've ever seen, and that is weird to say, but it's a nice mix of being incredibly goofy, but also him serving as Jojo's Nazi side, encouraging him to do the more Nazi-like things. Honestly, I love the way they work off of each other in this film. So much, though, that I tried to get the uh, theater to applaud at one moment. And I actually would have if my fiancé didn't stop me. I guess I was embarrassing her. This is a great movie. It should entertain those who just want a fun movie, but is also a treat for people who really want to read into the underlying themes and history of the character in the story. So I am giving Jojo Rabbit a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I know, that's really high, but this was really a movie experience unlike anything I've ever seen, and I fully recommend that you see it. I just hope no parents see the title of this movie and think that it's all about a fun rabbit and his adventures, because uh, that's not what they're going to get. P.S. I really don't have anything else to say. Just see this movie. You won't regret it.